my clients show up and I'm like, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. And they're like, what's the problem? I was like, well, nobody's moved out. Welcome back to Bamford & Co. Podcast. My name is Greg Bamford, and today I am here with Caroline Gilmore. Uh, Caroline Gilmore is part of the real estate team at Bamford & Co. She's in charge of client experience and innovation. Uh, thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Thanks. Good to be here. Awesome. Uh, could you share with us maybe a little bit of your uh, experience and, and background? All of my career, I feel like in some way or another, it's all been about trying to create a great experience for So what is your people. background? Like what, what, um, what have you been doing for projects? Because you, you, you still own your own consulting company. I do. I uh, spent a lot of time in Barclays, which is a big UK bank. And there I did all sorts of stuff from running operational performance in call centers. So we had like a 2000 seat call center. And my job was to make sure we had all the right people on the phone at the right time to give a great service to our clients. Um, and then I kind of worked in all different areas. I was um, a VP of retention and engagement for the business bank. So we had like a million customers were there to look after. And um, my job was really to make sure that we kept them. Right. And so the only way you're going to keep your customers is like create an amazing experience for them. Um, so like one thing which for me was like amazing about that was uh, there, we did some research into like client loyalty. And it's always stuck with me that I guess like you think it might be loyalty programs which are really important or like excellent customer service or whatever that drives people to stay with you. Right. Um, and it isn't. It's actually um, making things easy for people. And the ease of doing business with someone is what drives people to be loyal. Not, it's not kind of... All the other things matter and, of course, are important. But if you make life difficult for your clients or it's a difficult hard process to get through like why does someone want to stay with you so that was kind of really interesting for sure so basically the moral of the story is we're upping our game <laughs> at Bamford and Co creating a better client experience <laughs> yeah and you're in charge of basically making us step up every process uh oh, which has you. been uh fun uh but at the same time it's been a lot of work so uh, uh -huh. and yeah, but at the same time it you are right it's about us engaging with our clients and making so that they're informed through the whole process because they're always yeah. asking us what's the next step what's the next step yeah. what should we do right and so that's where you come in that's be the part of Bamford and Co makes it so powerful to have you now part of our team so yeah we're just really appreciative uh, that she would uh, come across the pond uh, <laughs> originally from England and yeah. uh, and help us grow Bamford & Co. to, uh, I guess, support uh, our clients and give mm. them a better experience. Like for sure. And it, um, I can't hide the accent. <laughs> it's not going away. So, yeah. Um, I think one of the things that excites me about coming over to work with Bamford & Co. is the mission. So, like, the whole thing that we're trying to like drive at and make happen for our clients now is to make real estate real estate stress-free right and that's like i i just think it fits so well with all the stuff that i've done in the past and it's just such a cool thing um i think like anyone who's moved house or um that knows that it is a really stressful experience normally for like any number of different reasons and like for us not to be that reason that reason where it makes it easier for somebody instead of harder and makes it stressful like that I think is like such a cool mission to be part of so that's well it's awesome and, and I mean we wouldn't be making all these changes unless we had the support uh from Caroline so we appreciate you again yeah. for being part of the team um our mission is to make it so that uh, the process is fun um it's simplified it's mm -hmm. basically we're giving you the roadmap of being able to find that perfect home or being able to sell mm -hmm. your, your house uh, for the maximum amount of money. And so that's kind of what we're, our goal is and always has been. It's just yeah. now we're going down and making sure that through automation and a lot of other things without it, because people, I think automation is a word that might be a little bit scary for, for uh -huh. a lot of people. Well, it sounds like you're going to disappear. 
<laughs> right, I'm not disappearing. And people want to speak to you. Yeah. Want, you're, like you're the real, you're the person that they trust, right? And so automation maybe makes it sound like some robot's going to deal with them or they have no human right. interaction. And that's not really what it's about. It's about trying to take away any friction that can exist within the experience for someone to make it that totally stress-free kind of thing, like that you know what's coming For sure. Out. And what I've realized as we're building out this this platform and offering more to our clients is that I'll have more time to be able to spend direct with my clients rather than to doing mm. the other support work that yeah. we're then giving to them, right? So 100%. I think that I think that'll make a a big a big change. Yeah, the more time like you spend at, like talking to and spending time with your clients and helping them through the stuff that really needs like a realtor's skill set, like it needs your you've got 19 years of experience in this business and have ha- had like how many learning experiences along the way where like something's gone wrong or something like that yeah so, uh, we, we talked about this a little bit earlier and i was supposed to tell a story you scared <laughs> I, I was a little scared to tell stories and then and then i figured out okay what story could i tell and then i was thinking about the, the question was like what is one of your worst experiences in real estate and that, that makes it a little bit harder to tell because you're like what should i tell uh so i got into real estate in 2005 my first possession, I believe, was like October the 30th or something. So there was no snow on the ground, but I showed up to the property earlier to take possession of this home and the people were still living there. And this is this is my first experience of real estate and they're still they're living in this home. And I show up there 50 minutes early to do a walkthrough to make sure that we're ready. My clients show up and I'm like, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. And they're like, what's the problem? I was like, well, nobody's moved out. Like their Hotmail account is still <laughs> is still logged into. So all of a sudden, about an hour later, this person comes uh, and they show up. But prior to them showing up, I, I phoned the realtor and I said, your client's still living in here. And he says to me, I told him to leave. Now this is your issue. Uh, that's not usually now how real it's estate works. Wild, and I was it? like, so then I then phoned my broker, which then didn't seem to be much help either. And they're like, well, you have to figure it out. So when this gentleman showed up an hour after we were there, I <laughs> said to him, well, legally, everything in this house is my clients. But how can we work to help you move out of the home uh-huh. and also deal with a house that's a disaster? And so I negotiated a deal with him that he would give my client $350 to clean this home professionally and we would give him an extra 24 hours to move out so that kind of gives you an example as 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 a realtor uh you hire us to be a problem solver not just through the transaction which is the normal Mm -hmm. transaction it says any problems arise right and so that's where my attention needs to go and uh and so that was probably one of my most profound i guess experiences because that's how my career started which is kind of mind-blowing because yeah. many people it's not your nicest that. experience for your first possession is it you yeah. want to like rock up and show the people the amazing house that they bought and for all sh- that and for sure so now it's focusing <laughs> on different things like walking your client through the, the their own home and making sure that they know what the buyer is going to expect yeah. i always say to someone like they're like well how clean do i should i clean this house and i would say to them if you're moving into a house, how clean would you want it to be, right? Yeah. Put yourself in the other person's shoes. And that's the way that I think we should interact and kind of deal with real estate. So it's, uh, there is all these different highlights and experiences that we've had, but it, uh, hopefully with the, the guidance of yourself, we can then have mm-hmm. that ironed out so they know exactly what's going to happen every step of the journey. But and I think it's like, those are the sorts of times when someone really needs you and your experience and stuff like that. But like knowing how to prepare the house for a showing or something like that, they don't need you to step them through exactly what to do because we can give them all that information and the guide and make sure they know exactly what a buyer is going to be looking for in advance. And I think that's the kind of thing that we're trying to aim for with like automating the things that don't need you. Like, and the things that do need you, we've given, we're giving clients more of you, not less of you, right. really. And that's the kind of um, the goal, really. All those important moments that happen along the journey need you. Like, and the other bits, 
just need everything to but, work. And I, that's like my job is just to make sure everything works in the background but, but and your job's to be there to help somebody right in that important moment. It is. I mean, my job is important, but at the same time, without the team that we've created and the people yeah. that we contracted, we wouldn't be able to succeed, right? So For if it's sure, yeah. through yourself, it's through Nicole, if it's through uh, Amy with the staging consult, if it's our professional photographers and all these different people we use for marketing yeah. and so forth. I mean, I'm part of this 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 big wheel that uh -huh, creates success yeah. for our clients, uh, either on the buying side or on the selling side. So yeah. as much as I'm part of it, we've created something that's larger than just Ryan and I. Yeah. It's about everybody else that's also servicing and helping our clients as well too, which I believe gives you that much more of an advantage while you're working with uh, Bamford & Co. So. Yeah, totally for real. And so, um, like, it's funny, like, I was looking around, like, obviously my job's to try and make sure, like, customer experience is good, so I've got to go look out and see other experiences that people are having in uh, real estate. So I was kind of going through, um, like, Reddit and different things, just kind of uh, seeing what the feel out there is for realtors. And like, there's a lot of negativity out there just generally in like, think, you know, kind of like sit, like realtors trying to sell people houses and stuff like that. And it was, and, and also there's like some crazy statistics about buyer's remorse and people like buying their home. And then like, you know, we all get it with a big purchase where you're like, oh, was it the right decision? But like something crazy, like 72% of people, which who knows if it's a made up statistic, but it's. I, I hope I hope it's made up. I, I, <laughs> I hope, hope that statistic is. is made up. But like when you look online and the general vibe and sentiment about realtors, it like I could believe it. Like I don't, but like why do you think it is that people are so negative? Like in a general, you know, like when you look just generally at sentiment well, about I, realtors. I, I guess a lot of times sales positions people look at as they're just in it for the money. And it's yeah. not in for the experience for the person or that they're going to be happy in a home. I mean, when we look at, I mean, I hope we have a way better success rate than that. I mean, Ryan says when he has a bad day, he goes and reads our testimonials because <laughs> they're, they're actually pretty yeah, good. And so it's just good. like, yeah, they're, they're really so good. good. So and so it was uh, a good point on that. But when, when we look at sitting down with someone so they have a better experience is educating them on the current market and also the, during the process so that they are finding that perfect home. Oh, I, I just yeah. had a, a client the other day send me a bunch of stuff because he's getting a little anxious because the market's changing, things are moving so fast. So he opened up different neighborhoods that weren't as desirable as what he first wanted. And yeah. I just said, let's just stick to our plan and ah, be patient because yeah. you being, you want this neighborhood, this is your price point. And through was sticking on that and talking him out of things that he might not want, will get him to be happy in that future home, right? Yeah. And so sometimes it's just bringing people back to where they originally started or just sometimes it's pivoting and then learning what they can actually afford and what's available in mm -hmm. today's market, right? So it's a, it's a little bit different than, uh, I mean, 73% uh, are unhappy. That would be a horrible scenario. I mean... It's wild, isn't it? it, it like, it, it surely can't be true. And, um, I, like, I don't know, and, it, and it's who knows but it but like yeah generally the sentiment that i see when i look at you know forums or stuff like that where people are talking about their experiences there's a lot of stuff which is not awesome and that's it so the moral of the story is we're going to try to create more <laughs> client experiences that are pleasurable yeah 100%. and they're happy in the long run right to totally that, that's right. our goal and uh and hopefully we can add value to those those clients while we're working together so that they're educated through the process so things don't also become overwhelming, especially in today's market where the inventory lo le levels are probably three times less or even four times less than what they should be yeah. for, for a, an even market, right? So, um, which already brings a lot of emotions into it. Our job is to, to make it so it's a, an enjoyable experience, but then also finding you that, that perfect home mm -hmm. within your price point, right? Yeah. So, yeah, for sure. I think so. So, like, just think, one of, like, the other things that with real estate, it's, like, top three or number three of the most stressful things that you'll ever experience. And, like, 
why is that? Like, what what do you think is like the reason why it's so stressful? Well, I think it's because people aren't informed, right? Yeah. So, I mean, if you're going into a scenario today, I just wrote an offer on a property. My clients knew what we'd have to do to be able to set ourselves ahead of where other people would be, just not in price, but things like the deposit amount, pre-approval letter, um, uh, a letter from them explaining who they are, creating that emotional uh, connection with the seller, yeah. right? So by giving all this information to them ahead of time, it creates way less stress because they understand what the process is mm. once we get there. Yeah. And I, it's that thing that I always say, if that house was gone tomorrow, we'd be upset. If you wouldn't be, let's keep on moving on. Let's not worry mm -hmm. about all these other properties. We'll find you the right property. So I think that's why there's so much stress is because of it's the lack of communication ahead of time yeah. so that when you go to have to make the decision, it becomes overwhelming to that person. And I think that's kind of where, it, where I, I think that kind of explains the stressfulness of, of real estate yeah. right now. Because, I mean, even as a realtor, it's harder to find properties on today's market. Mm hmm yeah sure cool yeah well thank you for joining us today uh it was awesome yeah uh we'll have you Good back for sure at Thanks. the same time sometimes i feel like you're the puppet master uh behind <laughs> the ba to, to the bamford and co team yeah. correctly right now uh as we build out all these systems <laughs> and so forth so thank you for everybody for joining yeah. us today and uh catch us on our next uh bamford and co podcast